much longer until they break through. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I don't know how much longer we could hold out without you. Atlas is under attack. These big mutant people blew a hole right through the wall of the substructure and came pouring through. A mutant attack now, of all times. Unbelievable. Scribe, status report. How many hostiles? Where are they now? Dozens of mutants. I couldn't get a good count. We fought them back into the substructure and set up a makeshift barricade. We're holding them below for now, but it's only a matter of time before they break through. If that's what they're called, it's a fitting name. But I'm not really worried about semantics right now. All I know is that they were very big, very green, and very good at using weapons. All the more reason to get down there and help. Let's go. Hurry. Good. Our initiates held. And the barricade's still standing. It looks like things have calmed down. Is this the last of the attackers? Unlikely. Hostels have been hitting in waves for hours now. Our scouts, the ones who've returned, reported the tunnels crawling with mutants. Plan of attack. This threat won't take care of itself. We'll go on the offensive, take the fight to them. We can barely hold a position of strength. Engaging superior numbers head-on would be suicide. An attack on Fort Atlas would have potential to wipe so soon. Great. Why wait for death when we can rush headlong into it? If we don't strike now, we'll just be worn down over time. You should know better, Shin. Clearly the Initiate does. What the hell? Uh, what's gotten into all of you? This is no time for bickering. Look, I think there's a way we can make the plan a success. I have some explosive charges. I was waiting to plant them as our last line of defense, but maybe we can put them to better use. If we go into the tunnels and find their points of entry, we can destroy them and prevent any more mutants from attacking. A surgical strike. I suppose that could work. As much as I hate to admit it, I don't see a better option right now. Fine, but the Initiate will plant the bombs, and I will control the detonator. Scribe Valdez will stay behind and command the barricade, in case we don't make it. Very well, Shin. If that's the price of your cooperation, then I'll pay it. If only to hold our Brotherhood together a little longer. A little longer? What? Oh, never mind. I can wait. Here are the bombs. I'll stay here and do what I can for the wounded. Good luck. I believe in you. All of you. An attack on Fort Atlas. And it would happen eventually, but so soon.
I help our initiate here doesn't back down. You like they did against the raid. Not everyone shares your enthusiasm for confrontation. Yet you recruit them anyway. I seem to remember your recommendation being involved. Time to die! through willpower. 
We've chosen a path. Now we commit to it.
to teach us. Why did I see that? Ford Atlas is in good hands. Nice shin. Find. You should get that mutation treated as an example to the other troops. The mission was a success, and Fort Atlas is safe. Our decisive action drove the enemy from our home, as it has in the past, and will in the future. We survived the attack. But now, you need to answer for what you did at the transmitter. It was inexcusable. And the Initiate here shares responsibility. You had an obligation to act, and you spat on that to support this traitor. Okay, what happened? You've been at each other's throats since you returned. I should have known something was wrong. She did what now? I destroyed the transmitter. The Elders are blind to the good we can do. We need to break free from their influence. You only did this to escape responsibility for that incident. You can't bear to face the judgment of the Elders. The Elders would have us stand trial for crimes we didn't commit. Your own sense of guilt is blinding you to that. It's clear you can't be reasoned with. I don't know why I bother trying. These new mutants are a threat that demands our unity, for now. Enjoy your success while you can, Romani. It won't last forever. Do what you will, Shin. Cool your head and come back when you're ready to cooperate. I... I don't know what to say. Paladin Romani has always butted heads with the Elders, but cutting ourselves off entirely? And I've never seen Night Shin behave that way toward a superior officer. His rage has taken complete control of his senses. Paladin Romani's leadership has taken us this far. And she does truly care for all the people we've met along the way. Still. I can't help but wonder if her aggressive tactics and trusting attitude will invite trouble without the structure of the Elders to temper her. I, it's clear this rift won't heal easily. There's too much animosity between those two now. I still believe that they can come together in the end, though. I plan to do everything I can to make that happen. We've been through a lot. I need some time to think. Ad Victorium Initiate. Until next time.